Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. I'm your friend Dan O, and we have got something for you today. Yeah, check this beauty out. Um, man, maybe you kind of know what this is. Maybe you kind of don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is a beauty. Uh, welcome to a one-up Wednesday because you know what? This is the one and only of this baby that I've got. It's just a nice little gem. We'll zoom in here a little bit so we can take a look at it. Very, very unique. Got this off of eBay. There's no way that I would have uh, been able to find something like that. Uh, this here in Wisconsin. Uh, that's of the USA. So let's take a look. What is it? Bam! Oh, check it out. This is a made in Hong Kong TFIC. And you know what? I forgot to look up what that means. And I doubt if I was going to be able to find it. But this is a Telesad. I believe that's how you, you pronounce that. Tel, uh, Telesal, Telesalad? <laughs> Telesad. I, I, I think it's Telesad. But anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, made in Hong Kong. This is uh, in that, in that R, REGD R-E-G-D that's registered. Uh, this is a 1960s, I believe, uh, model. I did find a little bit of information about this Hong Kong plastic friction. Um, it, it's very hard to find information about these companies, but uh, I tell you what, as we're looking around here, um, nicely detailed. Now these are all plastic, the base is plastic. This has got the friction motor in there. Uh, it does have some big honking uh, uh, screws that uh, do uh, put the base and the uh, body together with, but uh, very, very interesting. Uh, this, you know, the, um, where do we start? Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you know, if you guys are just tuning into Roverland, uh, your friend Dano just loves this plastic toy stuff. Uh, Rover, Land Rover stuff. They're hard to come by. Uh, I, I don't pay a lot of money, but if I do find something in, in pretty good quality like this, I, I will uh, crack the, uh, the wallet open. But uh, yeah, just uh, really kind of cool. These uh, things were uh, kind of a throwaway type deal. Uh, so it's very hard to come up across uh, any kind of scraps or pieces uh, you know, and, uh, if they do come fully, um, you know, connected, they call for a lot of money. So starting on the front, this is a series one, nice details on the, uh, turn signal, uh, on the wings there. Now mine is missing the front, uh, bumper there. There is like a chrome like bumper that goes on there. The tire on the hood, very, uh, accurate, uh, to, depiction there. Uh, three veins on the roof line. Very nice. Uh, it is a right hooker as you see there. Does have a white interior. Uh, I've got some uh, lines here for the, the, the uh, I don't know, they're not really body lines. You can see the barrel roll here uh, which uh, is kind of uh, later models. Uh, wasn't till uh, the 60s, late 60s, that they did the barrel roll and they came away from this kind of grill. This is a Series 1 grill. But anyway, um, very nice. Uh, these are kind of hubcap wheels. Um, they're like hard rubber plastic. Uh, they're not rubber rubber, but they're not uh, just plastic. So I'm not really sure. Not really a true depiction of... Uh, Rover wheels there. They're kind of a hubcap looking type thing, but uh, that's all right. Then we spin around to the back here 
Uh, very nice uh, depiction of the rear tailgate. Uh, now this has a canvas top to it, and uh, but in a trailer hitch, a uh, plastic trailer hitch, and we'll talk more about that. Once again, uh, detailed on the uh, tail lights there. They're all orange. The front were orange and these are orange, uh, but it has the rear uh, PTO hole in the rear uh, member, the frame member, uh, the rolled up rear tailgate to the tilt. And now that tilt, I don't know if we really can get a hole of that. It's a little bit darker gray, but it is a light gray. And uh, actually this does come off. And you can see how it is held on. There's four pegs and the uh, outside skirting that kind of holds on to the uh, bed rail there. Now you can see it has the uh, toolboxes in the back of the side of the um, inner uh, fender wells there. Uh, kind of a little, little, little window in the back uh, of the cab. So very nice there, a couple of veins for the bed liners, gas uh, cap on the uh, driver's side. So that just snaps right on there. You can see they do have some detailing here for the uh, tie downs for the hood, the tilt, uh, very accurate. Uh, uh, I had a, a, a canvas top on a 10, uh, on an 88 and they had that tuck away uh, deal there. So very, very nice model. Um, if you notice, there's a little bugger in the background <laughs> and maybe you recognize this one. Now, uh, this is one of my older ones, uh, and it doesn't have the accurate wheels on it. It has one accurate wheel on it, a Corgi. This is a Corgi toys, the one, uh, Land Rover 109 wheelbase. Uh, I've got several, uh, series, I got a series of this, Maybe we can uh, take a look at the actual video of that. And, uh, but uh, what, why I brought this one out is because um, the company, uh, Telesad, uh, copied the Corgi uh, casting. They just made it bigger. Uh, being a co company from Hong Kong, uh, they just uh, went ahead and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> stole the, um, the, the casting. Now, it, it's not, it's the same, but it's not the same because this is plastic and, and, you know, twice the size or three quarters the size, but it is a practically uh, duplicate re replica and... And you can see even on the um, the tilt there that they even have the same um, lines of wrinkles in the tilt. It's a, you know they're <laughs> practically identical. Uh, the bigger model does have a little bit more uh, emphasis on the on them, but uh, they are practically the same. So this is a Hong Kong. Uh, copy in a larger scale in plastic from the Corgi uh, and I forgot what number this is uh, number 351 I can't remember now uh, way to go I really know my Land Rovers huh but anyway we'll tag that video up there and um, so you can watch that one but there you go so um, what it, this is is this is the uh, Telesat, Telesal, Tela, Telsalad, and I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that, but this would come with, uh, well, the pictures I saw on the internet, uh, and you can Google that, it, there is some information if you, if you, uh, uh, go ahead and, uh, type in, uh, the Telesalad, um, name, uh, this came in a set, and it came in a, 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 an enclosed box with cardboard uh, um, uh, insert sleeve to it, so it kind of protected it. The box was uh, uh, like white uh, with a, uh, a drawing 
of what the uh, the drawing picture of what was in there. It was an enclosed box, no uh, window uh, shadow box or anything, but it came with this truck. Now the ones that I saw came with a tan tilt and it came with a trailer and a Lotus a Lola uh, Climax uh, uh, indie style car. Uh, so I'm not really sure if they uh, went after uh, Corgi's Lola. But anyway, the, the little trailer is a single axle frame, wire frame thing, kind of uh, cheesy looking uh, with the Lola, which is really big and out of scale. The Lola is practically as big as the Land Rover, so a little bit bigger uh, out of scale. But uh, the trailer is just uh, a wire like uh, framework, white with a single axle, uh, hooks on there, and then the little Lola uh, race car sits on there. And that's uh, that Lola is uh, blue, open wheeled, uh, got a little man in the cockpit, has a number one and a circle dot on the nose of that. But uh, I did also find. Um, Interestingly enough, a yellow one, a yellow truck, uh, Land Rover, with this kind of colored gray tilt, and it came with a green horse trailer with a yellow top to it. It was an enclosed horse trailer, a single axle, um, so green horse trailer, yellow roof, with a pony with a blue blanket on it. So it was yellow, had the hood, uh, the, you know, the tire on the hood with more of a uh, tan, gray, gray tilt to it. And then I also saw that there was a 25030, which was um, uh, the same wheelbase, this 109, but it was a station wagon that had windows on it. It was a hard top station wagon, and uh, that was green 109 station wagon with a white roof on it. And that also had a car, a racing car with it, with a little bit better uh, trailer. It was like a two-piece trailer. The frame work was um, a really light, light blue that the car would fit on it. And the race car, I don't know exactly what kind of race car. More, more of another indie type race car uh, that would fit on it. And uh, it, was, uh, it had a Union Jack and a checkered flag on the nose of it with the number two circle on the nose of the, of the race car. But the trailer, it was kind of two-piece with a single axle. It had the tracks for the race car to sit on. And then, uh, then the, uh, the tongue, per se, was red, and that would hook, hook on to the trailer hitch. But single axle. Uh, another, it came in a box with drawn artwork to, to depict that. But that was the station wagon, not the canvas top. So there are a couple of different variations of these. Um, if you guys have any of these, uh, and examples in boxes, uh, different colors. Oh, I guess there was a red one too uh, that had a gray tilt to it. Um, but... Uh, with no tire on top apparently so maybe they did some with that with no tires but yeah so there's two or three versions out there this is the one and only one i've got uh, of course you know i'd like to get the station wagon one of uh this brand tell us lad tell us tell us lad <laughs> i'm sorry i i am not hooked on phonics kids all right well there you go give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button I, I think it's down over here. Maybe it's down over there. Go on over to Roverland on uh, Facebook. Join up. Ask to be a member there. We're growing over there. That's awesome. Go over to Instagram and sign up over there at Roverland Channel. And, uh, you know, just join us. We're having fun. We're growing. Subscribe so we can uh, build our subscribership there and uh, get more things out for you all to enjoy. All right, there you go. One up Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed this. I really do enjoy these uh, little plastic models and uh, stuff like that. Show me yours over on Facebook, Roverland on Facebook. 
15 minutes. We got to get out of here. Thanks for joining me today. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.